Let's take a look at the changes that the dimensioning tool has undergone. The main change is the introduction of a contextual dimensioning tool. With it, you can add a dimension depending on the selected geometry. Select the tool, hotkey D. Now depending on the selected geometry, we can add horizontal dimension, vertical dimension, parallel dimension, diameter and radius, angle, arc length, and even the area of the selected segment. You can add a linear dimension in several ways, simply by selecting the desired segment, or you can select two points, or by selecting two bounding lines. If you select several points sequentially, you can add chain dimensions. If you press the M button, the measurement changes to coordinate dimensions mode. When adding a dimension to a circle or rounding, you can switch between modes, hot key M. Pressing this key will switch between diameter and radius. To add an angular dimension, simply select the desired segments. By changing the mode you can add a linear dimension. When adding a dimension to an arc, you can also switch between modes. Three modes are available arc length, diameter, or radius. If necessary, the dimensions can still be set explicitly. The old tools have not gone away. Also among the new dimensioning tools is the ability to add an overall dimension horizontally and vertically. And the last tool for today is the chamfer.